North Sentinel Island, you probably first heard of it back in 2018 when American missionary John Chow was killed by the island's reclusive inhabitants while attempting to convert them to Christianity. Although illegal to visit the island, the day before his death, Chow paid a fisherman from a neighbouring island to drop him off on North Sentinel Island. Upon arrival, he was greeted with a hailstorm of arrows fired from the bows of the not-so-friendly locals and he was forced to make a hasty retreat back to the boat. Undeterred, he would return to the island to carry out his mission the following day. The locals, no more pleased to see him than the day before, once again greeted him with a hailstorm of arrows. Unfortunately for Chow though, the aim had improved somewhat on the day before, and his visit to the island would be the last thing he ever did. As tragic as this event was, many people were appalled and fascinated at the same time. How is it that the inhabitants of the island have remained virtually untouched by modern civilization and live a hunter-gatherer lifestyle with likely no knowledge at all of the outside world surrounding them? In this video, we will delve into the strange and mysterious history of North Sentinel Island, one of the last places on Earth still untouched by modern civilization. Apart from a few very brief and ill-advised anthropological visits over the years, the Sentinelese, as they are known by outsiders, have managed to keep their island completely free of the outside world. They have made it abundantly clear that they do not wish to be contacted or receive visitors, and when necessary, they have been more than happy to defend their island by force. North Sentinel Island itself is only about 4.8 miles long and 4.3 miles wide. Estimates puts the population as low as 50 and as high as 400, but no one really knows. What makes the story of the island and its reclusive inhabitants even more amazing is that just 50 miles from the island lies the modern city of Port Blair. North Sentinel Island is a part of the Andaman Islands archipelago, which was formerly a British colony, now a territory of India, located in the Bay of Bengal. Much of the Andaman Islands now serve as a popular tourist destination. Despite North Sentinel's proximity to the modern world and the rest of the Andaman Islands themselves, the Sentinelese share no common language with any of the other indigenous tribes of the Andamans and don't appear to have left North Sentinel Island for thousands of years. One of the earliest known mentions of the Sentinelese was by European explorer Marco Polo, who navigated the Andaman archipelago in the year 1290. He would say of the North Sentinel Islanders, they are very cruel and kill and eat every foreigner whom they can lay their hands on. It's worth noting that there is no actual evidence to support the theory that the Sentinelese engaged in cannibalism. What is known is that they are hunter-gatherers and use canoes to catch fish and crabs. They use bow and arrows to catch small games such as native Indian boar and birds, as well as likely collect eggs from gulls and turtles. The first semi-modern reference to the island was in 1771 by British surveyor John Ritchie on board an East India Company vessel called the Diligent. He noted bonfires on the shore one night as they sailed by the island. Another thing worth noting is that the North Sentinelese haven't actually discovered how to start fire. Instead, they rely on lightning storms and then keep the fires lit at their camps for as long as possible. In 1867, an Indian merchant ship got wrecked on a reef near the island during a monsoon. 106 survivors landed on the beach of North Sentinel Island. Their initial relief of having made it to the shore alive was short-lived, when it quickly became apparent they were not welcome, and had to fend off attack from the island's inhabitants. They would eventually be rescued by the British Navy. A decade or so later, in 1880, an expedition led by Morris Portman, a British administrator looking to research the islanders and their customs, landed on North Sentinel Island. They managed to find some abandoned villages, and after several days on the island, they kidnapped six Sentinelese of whom they had found, an elderly couple 
and four children. They were taken back to Port Blair with the intention of learning about the locals before sending them back. Upon arrival, however, they all began to sicken and the elderly couple passed away. The four children were then dropped back off on the island accompanied by large quantities of gifts to try and smooth the whole affair over. Fast forward to 1967, Indian exploratory parties with orders from the Indian government to initiate relations with the Sentinelese made brief landings on the island every few years. This eventually came to a stop when it became clear the locals had no interest in establishing any kind of relationship with them. In 1981, the cargo ship Primrose ran aground off North Sentinel Island. After several days stranded, the crew noticed the islanders on the beach with spears and arrows. The captain radioed, requesting they be supplied with firearms to defend themselves. However, an approaching storm prevented this from happening, also making it too difficult for the tribesmen to reach the stranded ship, and the stranded crew were eventually rescued by helicopter. To this day, the wreck of the Primrose is still visible on the island. In 1991, Director of the Anthropological Survey of India, Trilak Nath Pandit and his colleagues visited North Sentinel Island and were able to make the first ever friendly contact with the locals, giving them coconuts and other gifts. No progress was made in understanding each other's languages, and the Sentinelese would often warn Pandit's team off when they had stayed too long. The visits to the island eventually stopped in 1997 when the Indian government, fearing pathogens could spread to the islanders for which they had no immunity, made it illegal to get within 5 nautical miles of the island. In January of 2006, two Indian fishermen were fishing illegally in prohibited waters off North Sentinel Island. The two men were killed by the islanders when they fell asleep and their boat drifted too close to the island. Indian officials were criticised for the deaths, with some saying they could have been avoided had authorities been enforcing the law. The Sentinelese remain one of the last uncontacted peoples on Earth. Although they are aware of outsiders, they have made it clear they wish to be left alone, and they have been willing to defend their island with clubs, bows and arrows when needed. In time, they may choose to embrace the outside world as some around them have. But, until that time, they will remain as much of a mystery to us as we will remain a mystery to them.